to how Jessica Herring's family is reacting to this news. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker is in studio control with this side of the story. Ken? Yes, Sue, we spoke to Jessica's grandfather early this afternoon who said he was surprised to learn about the arrest. Oh, no, that's the first I heard about it. Okay. I haven't even had TV on today. Okay. The details give him some hope. It's better than anything I've heard lately. A white heavy set suspect accused in an attempted kidnapping. He was driving a silver minivan. Oh, that was that young girl that he tried to pick up? Yes. Yeah. When okay. that happened, did you kind of wonder if there might be a oh, connection? Yeah. Roman Homrich, Jessica's grandfather, told us he had never heard the suspect's name before. He said he planned to call Norton Shores police later today to learn more about the arrest. He wants to know if there's any possible link to his missing granddaughter, who disappeared from the gas station she was working at in April 2013. But they've had enough false leads to know not to get too excited, including this. Several months ago, a call from a stranger who promised to return Jessica. He'd guarantee she'd come home if we paid him 40000 we just let him on until the police could trace him. Yeah. Police later learned the man was a scammer from Russia. Still, her family has never given up. No, I can't lose hope. My daughter is positive she's alive yet. I hope we find her alive. But the longer it goes on, the more I wonder. Yeah. But I won't give up. Okay. No. He says his great-grandson, Jessica's son, is now seven years old and living with a relative. He's still waiting for his mom to come home. Live in studio control, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8. Thank you, Ken. We have continuing coverage of the Jessica Hearing case on WoodTV.com. You'll find a complete timeline of her case and the number to Silent Observer if you have any information about her disappearance.